come on in you pair litter mates or theoretically litter mate syndrome yes it's a reg recognized problem condition outlook on life call it whatever you like so brother and sister lovely lovely dogs but <clears throat> ever since their eyes opened and they saw the world and they saw where they were in this world they have known each other they have been together ever since that very first interaction or very first coming into the world good girl coming into the world so people say oh, should i have litter mates is it good is it bad it's not bad you've just got to know how to manage it and you've got to know how to manage the very very high potential of them relying on each other too much so one will wind the other one up one will uh, reflect fear or anxiousness onto the other one so every type of emotion or feeling or anything that goes with a thought process you've got to be aware that they may feed off each other they may make the situation magnified and may make the situation even worse because one is winding the other one up and vice versa so when you do get litter mates it's very very common um, you fall in love with one when you go and see the litter at the breeders you can't make a decision so you think oh all right well i like both we'll have both very very common and nothing wrong with that but you have to be mindful how to deal with them separately and the key thing here is yes they are brother and sister yes they are related yes they have a bond yes they have a relationship yes they have known each other ever since the day dot but you've got to treat them as individuals you have to treat her as a female german shepherd and look at her personality look at her character look at her wishes look at her wants look at what she needs in life completely different to him he's a male okay not that sex is anything to do with it but that comes with testosterone that comes with an emotional outlook that may be more challenging than a female all these kind of things that you have to take into consideration alleviating the fact and forgetting the fact that they're actually related so litter mate syndrome yes it's a thing yes it's something that we need to be aware of but it's not a bad thing we can deal with it we can cure it we can prevent it from even happening purely by treating this brother and sister as individuals come on in come look at you yay look at you come on in good good prime example she is food orientated she reacts and she sees food as a pleasure source he couldn't give a stuff not bothered all right so prime example there of how you're going to have to treat very very similar characters very very similar dogs separately completely different so is getting two dogs from the same litter a good idea if you know what you're doing and you have a, th a thought process and you have a plan in place to deal with preventing any form of litter mate syndrome creeping in totally fine no problems whatsoever but it is something that you need to be aware of